Hi, my name is Sean Blackburn with Kalo Services. Today we're going to be talking about checking refrigerant pressures and ampere draw readings on the condenser unit. All right, let's take a look. All right, so we've already tested the capacitor. So what we want to do now is make sure the system is in cool mood and that's been running for at least five to ten minutes. What we're doing here is taking off the Schrader valve caps, and we're going to check to make sure that those rubber seals are still inside. All right, now here we're going to have our pressure gauges. These are digital, so we want to make sure that we have the right settings. And this unit uses R410A. I'm going to connect the red hose to the liquid line, and this hose is for high pressures. Now, some refrigerant may escape as I attach these hoses, but that's all right. And next, I'm going to attach the yellow hose to the suction line. Now, normally, um, your suction line hose um, used for low pressure is blue, but we have a different, uh, a different color hooked up here. So. All right, so here I'm going to attach the temperature clamp to the liquid line in order to find the subcool. Now we're going to give it a second to equalize here and uh, get some good readings. All right, so we're going to get some readings off of our digital gauge here. And now on the right side, we have our pressure, which is in PSIG, and we've got the subcool below that. And uh, we're going to hook this up here. And on the left side, there is the low pressure suction reading and the superheat below that. Um, in this case, though, there's an indoor TXV controlling the superheat, so we will use a subcool to find it. Um, now, this charge is uh, within the correct specifications, so that's good, and it checks out all fine. All right, now this is my digital multimeter, and we're going to check the amper draws um, of the condenser fan and the compressor. Uh, but first I'm going to check my voltage. Now this system runs on 240 volts. So if we take a look here, um, looks good. All right. Now we're going to find the black wire and it's the common wire um, from the condenser fan in order to get its reading. So we grab that there. That's up to specifications. So that checks out. Now we're going to find and look for a thicker gauge black wire coming from the top of the contactor. Um, it's called the common wire for the compressor. We're going to get its reading. What we see there, we got a good reading there as well. All right, so that looks good. All right, so that's pretty much it. That's how we read pressures and ampere readings at the condenser. We thank you for watching. And if you have any questions, visit us at our website there, kalosflorida.com, or call us at 352-243-7088. Thanks and have a great day.